Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of area and perimeter. This is standard 4.5D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a square, and all they're going to do is give us the width here of 20 feet. But it is a square. Not only does it look like a square, but they actually give us that term. And that's going to let us know here that even though they've only given us the width, we know that all four sides of a square are equal. And so if we really wanted to, we can just go ahead and put our 20 feet all the way around. Now, what is the area? of the playground in square feet. So that's always kind of the trick of what we are trying to do here is figuring out what is the area and what is the perimeter and what is the difference between the two. So area is always on the inside. So if we're dealing with the area, we're looking for little square units. In this case, we're looking for square feet. If we ever get a square and they're asking us for the perimeter the perimeter is on the outside it goes around I always think of this word rim that is inside the word perimeter and it makes me think of like a basketball hoop it's sometimes called the rim and you've got your little net right here and we're just looking on the outside that circle is on the rim so we're looking for the inside now let me blow this up a little bit here because if we were doing this in third grade, this is what we would see. We would see some squares because in third grade, we would see that we've got some squares here. So let me see if I can draw some squares here. And so what we would do is we'd have to draw 20 rows. Let's see, I'm already running out of, already running out of room. So I've got five right there. And we'd have to do this all the way up. So I've got 10 rows on the bottom. I need to do another set of five here. And then another set of five. So if I really wanted to, I could make my 20 rows. There we go. That barely fit. So I've got 20 rows. But then I'm going to have to do the same thing up and down. And that's going to take way too much time. And even if I could do it, let's say, let's say I just, I'll start. I make my 20 columns this way. I'm not going to finish this. It's going to take me too long. Even if I could do it, let's just say I've got 20 all the way across. It's way too tiny to count. I would lose count. It's not an efficient way to find area. So that's why in fourth grade, fourth grade, what we realize is that we've got sets of 20. So we've got sets of 20. Each of these rows are going to be sets of 20 columns. And it's just going to be 20 sets all the way down. There's 20 sets of 20. And so our area here is going to be length times width. That's how we find uh, the area of a rectangle. All squares are rectangles. So we can also just do side times the side since Technically, a square just has sides instead of a length and the width. We can also do it that way. But either way, you're going to take your two sides. You're going to multiply them by each other. Now, let me show you the long way of doing it. That's 20 by 20. Then I'll show you the shortcut. So 20 by 20, 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. That was a whole lot of nothing. So we're going to put a 0 in our second row. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. Finally, something that's not a 0. And there's our answer of 400, and that's going to be square feet. Shortcut for that is you're multiplying by multiples of 10, 100, or 1,000. Whenever you get these zeros, multiply your two non-zero digits. 2 times 2 equals 4, and add your zeros on the back end. I've got two zeros, so I'm going to put two zeros on the end. Either way, your answer is going to be 400 square feet. And that is H.